Leslie, how are you doing today? Hey, Dr. Quinn. Well, actually, I'm not really doing that good. You see, I have all these notes that I need to take for school, but I'm not very good at handwriting. I have some fine motor difficulties. As your occupational therapist, I know one of your main occupations is school. It seems that you're having some difficulties, and I think you could benefit from assistive technology. I have a device that I think could help you out. It's the Alpha Smart 3000. It's very simple to use. All you have to do is press the on and off button and type as you would with a regular keyboard. It can store up to eight files and hold up to a hundred pages of text. Wow, Dr. Quinn, this is really cool. It's really lightweight. What is this, like two pounds? Oh, neat! And it takes batteries, too. I bet it takes about three AA batteries. It lasts up to 700 hours, and you don't have to use a plug to carry around with you in school. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let me show you how to use it step by step. First, turn it on by pushing the on-off button in the top left-hand corner. Then you can choose between file 1 through 8 on the top row. This will help you stay organized in your classes. Push one of them and begin typing. Now begin typing as you would on a regular keyboard. Well, English is my first class, so I'll write English. And then I can say that I'm learning to use the AlphaSmart. And I learned about fish today in school. Now I want to show you some other features. Down in the right hand corner there are arrow buttons. These work kind of like a mouse. You can push the up button and the down button and left and right to move throughout your document. There is also the home key and the end keys. These allow you to move, home allows you to move to the top of your document and end allows you to move to the bottom of your document. As I'm looking at this, I've noticed you made a couple spelling mistakes. Would you like to learn about the spell check feature? I really would, because I'm not a very good speller. Push the spell check button on the top row. This will begin spell checking your document. Oh look, I misspelled the word English. I bet if I just push enter, it'll substitute the right way of spelling. That's correct. Try it out. Enter. It worked. Great. The next word I misspelled was alpha smart. I put two R's in smart. But that's not the right way of spelling it either. As you can see on the, on the right hand side, you can push E for edit. Okay. And I'll just retype it the right way with one R and push enter. Oh no, it's still saying that I misspelled it. That S is supposed to be big. What should I do? Well, you can push the I button, which means you can ignore it and move on to the next word. Okay, ignore. The next word is fish. Look, it's spelled correctly. I'll just push enter. What word was I trying to do? Can't remember. Well, you can push C, which takes it to a sentence where you wrote it in. That will help you understand what context you were using it in. C. Oh, cool. Okay, well, how do I get back? Just press any key. That's easy. Hmm, I don't see it in this list. Well, you can use those down arrows and scroll down to see more suggestions. School. Enter. Well, it's complete. Oh, your spell check is complete, and now all your words are spelled correctly. Wonderful. It's like you're really getting the hang of this. I'd like to show you some ways that you can edit your document. You can use cut, copy, and paste. But first you must highlight the text using control A. You can use the arrows that we talked about earlier to unhighlight the text that you do not wish to edit. Okay. Well, I think that I'm going to move the first two lines into file two. So I can how can I copy those lines? Well, you can push Control C to copy, then push File 2. Now push Control V to paste this. Control V. Great. 
Well, now that I think about it, I don't really need the, that sentence in both, so maybe I can cut the first two lines out of file one. Okay. Do you remember how to highlight the text? Yes. Control A. And then I push the up arrow, and now I just need to cut. So now you would use Control X. Oh, nice. Perfect. You're doing a great job learning how to use this. I'd like to tell you about the find feature. Okay. The find feature allows you to find a certain word or phrase up to 16 characters within your documents. Simply push the find key on the top row. Now enter what you wish to find. Well, I don't know, I can't remember how to spell it, but maybe I can try and find Alpha Smart again, but all I remember is the ALP. Okay. Now you can just push enter, or if you wish to search all your files, you can push option and enter together. Oh, I don't remember which file it's in, so option, enter. Now it's going to search all your files until it finds the There! Right. It found it! I'd also like to tell you what you can do if you accidentally clear a file. This is called the data recovery. So let's pretend that you accidentally clear file one. Okay, so I would push clear file, and then I would push Y for yes. Now, in order to find this document, you can use Option, Command, and R together, and this will recover your document. The AlphaSmart 3000 also comes with things known as applets. There's a calculator. This will let you do simple math equations to help you with your math class. Let me show you how to access this. Okay. Push the applet key on the top right-hand row. Right here? Um, up one. Right here? Yes, that's correct. Push that, and you can use the up and down arrow keys that we discussed earlier to go to calculator. Okay, so I'll push down and then enter. That's correct. Oh, neat. So try out a math equation. You can do 5,876 divided by 42. 5,876 divided by 42. And enter? That's correct. 139.9047619. You're doing great. Now you can see why this can help you out in so many of your classes. Would you like to learn how to put these files on your personal computer? I would. All right, let's go to your computer. First, turn the device back on. You will need to use the USB cable in order to hook it up. There are two ends to the USB cable. There's a squared end and a rectangular end. Attach the squared looking end into the port on the AlphaSmart 3000 labeled computer. Next, attach the other end into your USB port on your personal computer. Now, the AlphaSmart will tell you that it is connected to a PC. On your PC, open up a word processor. I have Microsoft Word. Is that okay? That's great. Now, you can send the file that it's currently on by just pressing the Send button. Okay. Send. Look, it's typing. If you'd like to send another file, you can hit Command and the new file number. Well, let's do file two. Now, once it's up, you can press Send, and it'll send it to the computer. Send. That's so cool. I provided you with a general overview of how to use the AlphaSmart 3000. I hope you've enjoyed your tutorial. If you'd like to know any more information, please use the user guide. I would like to tell you about some users that can benefit from using the AlphaSmart 3000. They include individuals with fine motor difficulties, individuals with cerebral palsy, arthritis, or sensory processing disorder. The more users of the AlphaSmart are individuals with upper extremity amputations. There are different ways that you can adapt the AlphaSmart for individuals that only use the right side or left side of their body. Also, students would benefit from using the AlphaSmart. Instead of having to carry around a book bag with a heavy laptop or heavy notebooks, simply carry around your AlphaSmart. But well, we just wanted to thank you for joining us on our how-to video of using the AlphaSmart 3000. Good luck with your AlphaSmart!